Hey guys, this is our new Hypertorque motors. This thing is a different beast. They're not your regular radial flux motors, they're axle flux motors. So you hear this term axle flux motors all the time in the e-conversion, e-bike, e-car industry, but what is axle flux motors? So axle flux just means that the flux, the magnetic flux that's going is parallel to the axis of the motor, which is basically the shaft. The flux of the motor is going this way, rather than traditionally in a radial flux of the magnetic field would be going this way, which is perpendicular to the shaft or the axle of the motor. So on traditional radial flux motors, the torque is okay. It's not bad by any means, but it's not this, right? Um, they're fairly easy to manufacture. They're cheaper to manufacture. They're very common um, and they're more, they're elongated motors more than often. So for a seven kilowatt motor, you wouldn't have this uh, thin of a footprint. Uh, it would be much um, thicker and kind of a smaller radius than this kind of motor. So on the contrary, with axle flux motors, the since the magnetic field is going across the face of the motor, they're diameter wise, they're larger motors, but they're thinner motors this way. So a few reasons why the axle flux motor is going to become the benchmark in the e-vehicle industry. A few of them are it produces higher torque at lower RPMs. It's putting out serious power for a smaller footprint of a motor, less heat buildup more efficiency, which are huge in the e-bike, e-vehicle industry. So if you're in the middle of a project and you're deciding which uh, motor to go with axle or radial, go with the axle flux motor. If you're looking for super high torque motor, um, you know, you want like the highest, highest possible takeoff speed, or you need to climb some serious hills, or you, your project, you already have a project and it overheats, then go with the uh, axle flux motor because it's going to run a lot cooler than a radial flux motor. But if you don't have those issues and you just want to get going, then radials better. It's not worth spending the extra money on an axle. So it kind of just depends on your use case. All right, guys. So that wraps up today's video. In the next video, I'm going to fire these bad boys up and I'm going to do a bench test. I'll see you guys in the next one.